Your master herbalist here with Z Natural Foods. And today's uh, most frequently asked question is in regards to maca root. We get a lot of questions in regards to the different preparations and the different colors of maca root. And I just want to quickly do an overview about maca. Um, I've already done uh, a video in regards to adaptogens and the the uh, topics of the nature and I do mention maca in that but this is more about the different colors of maca and whatnot so I'm going to try and make this as simple as possible in general you have maca maca comes in a variety of different colors you have red black yellow cream and then you have what would be considered like multicolored um, macas all maca in Peru grows in big big batches where all the colors grow together they're not they, they don't grow separately and they don't grow in separate batches based on the colors okay that's a very important fact to, to keep in mind um <clears throat> majority of the preparations for example with ours we have our raw maca our premium maca our gelatinized maca all three of those macas are a combination of all the different colors put together then we sell just a red individually and just a black individually. But these are the things that you must keep in mind. When you look at nutritional analysis of maca, the different colors don't really show any great difference from one to another when it comes to nutritional or phytochemical con contents. And with that said, there's a lot of people that that are on the market today that talk a lot about these things where they talk about well red is better for this and black is better for that and the truth is that's really more based specifically on traditional use than it is on pure science there are many studies that have been done using maca root uh, specifically red or black but where those where those studies while the studies and the 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 results of those studies were very impressive what they did slightly lack was a comparison between the individual color and the mixture of colors also when we when we dry maca or cook maca you really wouldn't be able to tell one color from another they look exactly the same once the once the powder has been dried um so with that said it's important to understand that other than outside of the traditional uses of what maca is known for in terms of individual colors other than that, there really is no specific difference on which color you take. So as long as you take maca, you're going to get the natural adaptogenic nourishing benefits from this wonderful root vegetable and root herb. Okay? Now, with that said, it's also important to understand a few other facts about maca when we're talking about maca, okay? There are different preparations of maca that will of course change the color the taste and the texture of your end result products so for example gelatinized maca is a is basically a cooked form of maca they cook it down they remove the fiber and the cellulose and now you have just a pure maca extract powder oftentimes if you're looking for specific consistency, this is the one to go with because what you're going to find with this specific form of maca is, is that the color, the taste, and the texture will be almost identical in every single batch that you buy. Now, when you use a regular raw maca that's just been low temperature or air dried, then milled into a powder, you might be you might see a slight difference from batch to batch based on the start color of the actual maca. And then you have a premium maca, which is what I consider the true raw maca, which is basically slightly air dried, milled into a powder. This specific maca has a very different taste and a very different texture, almost like horseradish, has a little bit of a spicy kick and it does it, it it is something that does take a little bit of time to get used to in terms of taste and flavor so that's something you want to keep in mind if you're looking to order our premium maca powder okay another thing i want to mention as well is the idea of the color if you order red or black red maca 
because the, 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 the color red is only in the skin and it's a very, very thin layer of that skin, the powder itself is not going to be red. It's going to look like any other maca powder. The same thing with the black. The black, the outer skin is black, but on the inside and when it's been dried and milled into a powder, it looks like any other maca. So the question is, why would a company sell red versus black? Well, the simple answer is this. And the honest answer is, is that this is sometimes what the market calls for. You have customers who request and ask for individual colors of maca. So therefore, we give that to what our, our customers because that's what they're looking for. But we are always very transparent and upfront when we explain to our customers that in terms of nutritional benefit or nutritional value, taking the red or the black would be no different than taking any of the other macas. So therefore, I hope that this education on maca has cleared up any confusion and has helped you guys. And I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I'll see you soon. Bye.